question of 2008 october november paper two and uh, question number is uh, two it's 12 written here in my collection but it's actually question number two so it says that a car is traveling along a straight line this is a straight line at speed v so that means the speed here is v a hazard suddenly appears in front of the car something hazard uh, in the time interval between the hazard appearing and the brakes on the car coming into operation the car moves forward a distance of 29.3 meters so it's our usual inability that we can't apply the brakes right at the moment we see the danger so it takes some time which you often call as the response time actually so that's why uh, between the uh, site of the event and the application of brakes it has traveled a distance uh, 29.3 meters here which is shown here so its velocity is v here also it's v throughout the motion uh, here it, it applies he or she applies brakes and then with the brakes applied the front wheels of the car leave skid marks when brakes are applied suddenly the car stop but the vehicle doesn't so that's why the car undergoes the vehicle the uh, tire uh, undergoes heavy friction with the uh, with the street and often leaves marks with the skid marks so it is 28.12.8 uh, uh, meters and then uh, the the thing stops here so here the velocity is equal to velocity is equal to zero and from to here the the body uh, retards or it undergoes retardation so it is estimated that during the skid the magnitude of the deceleration of the car is 0 0.85 g so that means uh, the acceleration is equal to minus 0 0.85 into g which is equal to minus 0 0.85 into 9.81 and the value will be equal to the value of acceleration will be equal to 0.85 into 9.81 which is equal to for, for now it is 8.3385 so meter per second square so we have now to find the speed v of the car before the brakes are applied so we have to find this v the final velocity is zero here so from this motion so for retarding part of motion for uh, retarding part of motion retarding part of motion we have uh, for motion 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 we have we have uh, 0 square minus v square is equal to is equal to 2 2 into uh, 2 into acceleration into this distance so let us name this distance as uh, s2 s2 was equal to 2 into minus 8.3385 into this uh, uh, distance is going to be given figure it is 12.8 so it is a final velocity square minus initial velocity square equal to 2 as so express over like this so this and this cancel so our v will be simply equal to if we go through this minus and minus cancel so our v will be equal to equal to 2 into 8.33 into 12.8 equal to and now we have to go through its uh, square root so which will be equal to uh, I do it uh, this way this way power 0.5 so its value is equal to 14 14.61 meter per second so I can write it as as 14.6 meter per second in uh, uh, 3 SF so the velocity is this velocity is so v equal to 14.6 meter per second and here also it is 14.6 meter per second since the velocity is only from here now we have to find the time interval between the hazard appearing and the brakes being applied so we have to find the time from here to here so since there is uniform motion from here to here so for uniform motion for uniform motion uniform motion we should have we should have the distance which is 29.3 meters should be equal to 
the uniform velocity 14.61 let me use the uh, full value it's, it's okay because there is zero after that 0.161 into this time so let's name it as t1 so this t1 will be uh, so this gives me this gives me t1 is equal to is equal to 29.3 equal to shift this so it is 2.00054 seconds so i can simply write it as as 2.001 uh, second so this is the time now the next question that it asks is the next page so it asks us that uh, the speed of the legal speed limit on the road is 60 km per hour so this is v limiting v limiting v limiting is equal to 60 km per hour and we have to use the answers the previous answers to state whether to state about the standard of driving of the car so what do we have now is uh, let's uh, convert this into meter per second. It is uh, 60 into 1000 by 3600. So this will give us, this thing will give us uh, 60,000 divided 3600. So it is 16.67 meter per second. So let us uh, once again, uh, once again <coughs> go back. So we have the velocity is equal to 14.6 meter per second. So let's write it here. So V of the car was equal to 14.6 meter per second. So that means the velocity of the body is within the limit, within this limit. So in that two, uh, sense, the standard of the driver is okay. But what we have here is, what we have here is the time the time between the event of uh, seeing the hazard and applying the brakes is 2.01 second so which is slightly above slightly above the above the normal response time of people which is about to should, should have been about 0 0.2 seconds so it's a way above the uh, normal uh, speed normal response time and which is very hazardous in such cases so what uh, we can we have to write here is in the answer column so we have to write here since since the velocity is the velocity is 14.6 meter per second way less than than the limiting the limiting limiting 16.67 16.67 meter Per second uh, the velocity was was within within the within the speed limit speed limit but his her response time of 2.001 seconds is is way more than more than the normal 0 0.2 seconds so that can definitely cause accidents due to such delay